Sometimes to get to where you wanna be in your engineering career, you need to take risks. And my guest in this week's Engineering Management Lessons video is Matt Ryer. Matt oversees engineering controls for the Kiewit Engineering Group. And Matt is gonna share with us a story about a transition that he made in his career where he took not just one risk, but actually two big risks at the same time. Matt, can you share kind of that transition point in your career with us? Before we dive in, we'd like to recognize our sponsor for this episode, PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE and PE exams the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE and PE exam prep. Now let's dive into today's episode. And it, it is very vivid for me, and, and uh, I, I can pinpoint one, uh, one specific uh, decision that I made, um, and it was to, uh, to switch employers, to switch companies. Um, and I wasn't, I, I wasn't unhappy by any means at my previous employer. Uh, I loved working uh, for the company. It was a great company, treated me really well. Um, but looking back is if I would not have, have made the decision to join Kiwit um, and, uh, and, and kind of take that risk of, of unknown, of joining a, a new company that was, uh, it was kind of just uh, stepping into the engineering realm a little bit. Um, I, I wholeheartedly uh, believe that I would not be where I am today in my career if I would not have made that, that decision and taken that risk. And so if you don't mind just talking about it a little bit, was it something that you felt like you needed a change or there was an opportunity that you saw? Was that the reason that you made that transition being that you were happy at the other place? Yeah, it really was the uh, the opportunity side of it. Um, you know, at the time, about ten years ago, Kiwit was uh, was uh, toying with the idea of of starting their own engineering group. You know, Kiwit is known uh, as being a uh, a large contractor and and has been around for 120 plus years, um, and and known for building things. Um, and uh, and they saw the, the the value of having an internal engineering. Uh, group uh, within the company, and um, so I had the opportunity to to kind of get in at the ground floor and and join a a very uh, um, very young engineering group and and grow with it. So um, there was a lot of risks involved with that, obviously, um, but uh, uh, but it it has definitely paid off, and and um, I'm glad that I made that decision. Wow. Yeah. So I was going to say it's like a double risk because you left a, a job that you liked a lot and you took a job where there was kind of, a, in a sense, almost a startup. It was a startup yeah. of an engineering kind of company, if you will, inside of a, a larger company. So it's great. And obviously, Matt, it sounds like the decision was great for you looking back and you've, you've done really well. And you're now, of course, um, you know, kind of overseeing the project controls at Kiwit. And, and, you know, I guess looking back on it, you're happy. Yes. Yes, very much so. Matt, thank you so much for sharing that with us. It's a real inspirational story, and I'm sure it's going to help many of our listeners. Well, thank you. I hope you enjoyed Matt's story. It certainly was an inspirational one. And I know that taking a risk in one's career can be scary, especially like Matt explained. He was working for a company. He was doing very well, and he was enjoying it. But he saw an opportunity. And even with that risk, he still decided to jump at it. And he's extremely happy in his career today because he did so. And I hope that his story will inspire you. We put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. So please consider subscribing to our channel here so that we can help you engineer your own success. I'll see you next week.